I do want to talk real quickly about one last component of this conversation, which is kind of um, how this relationship differs. I know because it started out in COVID, because it started out online in this really cool way that, you know, you guys found each other in the same groups. Uh, but also, I, I happen to know a little bit about how this is different in other ways and how you guys actually are learning new sides of yourself and how to be in relationships in different ways during a time when being in a relationship at all is just super hard. So kudos to you guys, first of all, for doing that like deep introspection and learning. And also I'd love to like just walk through that with you guys real quick if you feel comfortable. So speaking personally, my relationships were before this were either tragic, abusive, or too clingy. Like those were the three types I got. And uh, this has all been very new to me because I have been out of the dating pool for a very long time and I hadn't dated a man before. So very new in a lot of different ways. A lot healthier. <laughs> How about you, Brad? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, I, you know, I, I sort of touched on the fact that I tend to have really soft boundaries. Um, and one of the sort of net benefits for me of being in this relationship is that I have someone who doesn't give me pushback the minute I set a peg in the ground and goes, Oh, cool. You're good. And as mm -hmm. like in a, in a healing way, that's really good for me because I've made decisions that I haven't liked in the past based on the fact that I'm a people pleaser. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that's, that's been one thing. Um, but also just, you know, not needing to um, again, but because of the nature of our relationship, not needing to, physically be present to offer certain things to a person, be it male or female or, you know, anybody on any part of the, Oh gosh, the end dimensional axis. I'm sorry, Katie Montgomery, <laughs> you, you put it perfectly and my maths just aren't up to par. Um, but like just having, you know, being secure in the fact, yes, we like each other. Yes. We both want to be here. Um, and we can negotiate what that looks like as opposed to needing to either um, be the dominant party or be the submissive party, um, both inside and outside of the bedroom, right? Like be the, like mm -hmm. have, have that space to just like have a healthy back and forth with my partner is something that I really haven't had a ton of, um, you know, in, in my dating life. And I've gone through very long periods of not dating anyone. And then, um, you know, other relationships where my role was sort of prescribed and there it was, and it was done. Um, mm -hmm. and so just having somebody that's willing to kind of walk beside me as opposed to cut the path for me or stand behind me and wait for me to like find my way through the trees has been a, a really different kind of experience for me. That is beautiful. I have absolutely loved getting to know both of you individually and then watch you guys get together and just hear both of you gush about the other person. Like it's it's been like the most wholesome shit on on my on my timeline this last uh, this last year. You guys are timeline blessings. Um, all right. Uh, and Speaking of blessing us all with your content, uh, let's get your guys' <laughs> stuff up here. Uh, I know that both of you have uh, uh, content that you guys are creating. Rags, talk about what you are doing on YouTube. Uh, yeah, so my YouTube channel is sort of a mixed bag. Um, it's a little bit counter apologetics, a little bit personal narrative, and a little bit current events or political commentary. Uh, basically, if it sparks my interest, I talk about it from, you know, seven to 90 minutes, just depending on where I go with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, most recently I did a 40 minute video on the um, bad ethics of dead naming. And I'm Wonderful. working with someone right now on the complex economics of American poverty. 
So just yeah, come 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 talk to me. It'll be fun. That's awesome. How about you, Jonathan? Uh, as far as that goes, the only big iron I have in the fire right now is Nat One Heroes, NatOneHeroes.com. We're on YouTube. I'm really proud of it. It is a uh, Dungeons and Dragons actual play that is put together by myself and some other people within the secular community. I think it's really amazing. We're not just treating this as a game. We're treating this as collaborative storytelling that uses the rules of a game for a framing device. And it just makes something really special and interesting. And if you've never seen Dungeons and Dragons, it is a game where literally anything can happen. <laughs> like if somebody wants to pants a guard, they can pants a guard. I don't have to program that. I can <laughs> tell them how to pants the guard. That's like, amazing. Roll, roll a D20, you get to pants the guard. <laughs> I love it. All right, you guys, you have no excuses not to go check these two out. I absolutely loved having both of you on the show. Thank you for spending an evening with me and talking about yourselves and your relationship and, and sharing that with everybody here. I know we all had an amazing time tonight. Thank, thank you so you. much for being here. Really, uh, thank really, you. Really. All right, let's talk about uh, the crew for a second here. Oh, let's crew. head over to the crew cam and just send some appreciation yeah, your way. Bad bod. Sexy, sexy crew cam. <laughs> oh, look. look at that. That's amazing. Crew cat. Crew cat. Mm -hmm. I like that Woodhouse has a dad bod too. Right. right? Um, all right, guys, if you want to talk to us and the community around sex X uh, on the off hours, AKA most of the hours, um, you should <laughs> check us out on discord at tiny.cc slash ACA discord. Um, that is a place where you can go to make sure that you are up to date on everything that is happening. Talk with other people who like the show, share stories, um, and hopefully uh, maybe even see John, uh, Jonathan and Rex around. Uh, we also have a merch store. And so if you would like a sex, sexy pillow uh, to impress people once COVID is over and you get to have guests over again, you can go to bit.ly slash AEN merch for all that good stuff. All right, so Christy isn't here to do his normal outro. So I'm gonna take over and see if I can remember this because I've been nose deep in whiskey this whole time. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I've only done beer if you need some backup. <laughs> All right. I think it's time for us to thank everybody and, you know, wish everybody a big old orgasm. Or better yet, give somebody else one. <laughs>